Hi Virgo, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of November 8 to November 14, 2021. I'm going to be taking a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that if the reading resonates with you, I will put a link below this video that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take a look at your energy. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. All right, Virgo, first card we have here for you is the Judgment card in reverse. The Empress upright, Four of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, the Fool in reverse, and the Hermit card in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups upright. Hmm. All right, let me take a look here. Um, Virgo, you might be thinking about giving someone a second chance with the Judgment card in reverse. There is a lack of a new beginning here with the Fool in reverse. I also feel like there's an opportunity here that is available. And I feel like you're trying to decide, should I take it or should I not take it? I feel like it is an opportunity that could potentially lead you to you're happily ever after. I feel like there is someone here who you feel a lot of passion for, who you have, who you feel a lot of attraction for. And it's someone who you would like to return back to. If possible. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, which can represent positive changes, positive surprises. I feel like you are thinking about someone and you're trying to decide um, with the Empress card, is this a new beginning that I want? Because the Empress represents the birth of a new beginning. So it's like you have a new beginning available here. Um, I feel like your intuition is telling you to go for it. Um, I do. I do feel like you're a little bit scared, though. It's a big deal. The wheel of fortune is here, so it does. It does represent, you know, something major in your life with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, let me do a little clarification and see. We can get more specific. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Empress, please. Thank you. So 
Some of you are contemplating a new life, um, beginning a new life in some way. All right, clarifying the Empress, we have five of wands in reverse. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. We have the five of cups upright. Hmm. So you have experienced your share of failures already. That's what this is telling me, especially with the five of cups. You have experienced some significant failures here. And, you know, this is something that you're thinking about. Um, when considering if you want to, you know, um, put yourself out there towards a new beginning here with someone. I feel like you don't want to make the same mistake twice. I feel like you're, you're being careful not to make the same mistake twice. Because you've already experienced disappointment in various ways. And I feel like you're trying to learn from those experience, experiences. You're trying to do things in a better way, in a different way. So I think I see, I see you kind of thinking, you know, how can I do the things differently? Hmm. How can I achieve the outcome that I want to achieve? I can't keep doing the same things that I did before. I have to take a different approach. You know, so I feel like you're kind of in this um, brainstorming energy type of thing. Mm -hmm. What is the Four of Cups spirit? Please clarify. Yeah, the Nine of Swords here. So you're you're conflicted, you're worried. You know, you have your concerns here about this possible new beginning. And the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so you're not taking action right now. You're more so um, taking your time. You're going slow. You're going slow. You're kind of um, covering all your bases, I feel, in regards to the potential, the different potential outcomes that that could come from you taking a risk on on something on someone all right let's move on now to um, the energy of your person okay let's see what's going on with them spirit angels and guides please show me the energy of the person virgo is dealing with and connecting to in love for this week thank you spirit The Ace of Pentacles is here. It kind of um, it it flew out of the deck here while I was shuffling. So there is an opportunity here available. Okay, what is the energy of this person that Virgo's dealing with here? First card we have is the King of Cups in reverse. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. 
the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Strength card upright, the King of Swords in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Wands upright. Again, another Ace. We have Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. New beginnings. Let's see. Well, this person is very unhappy in their current um, circumstances here. There might be a third party situation because we have two kings. We have king of swords and we have king of cups, okay? And we also have the lovers. So there could be a third party situation that is um, creating a challenge here. These are kings, but it could be queen, queens, okay? Gender is not, it's not gender specific. I do feel like this person is also resisting this new opportunity, this new beginning. There is a level of resistance coming from them. I feel like with the King of Swords in reverse, I do also feel like they are conflicted and they feel overwhelmed for some reason. Very, I feel a strong energy of them feeling overwhelmed, of feeling overburdened. For some reason, this taking this this step towards a new beginning is a very difficult decision for them. It's a very difficult process for them. I do feel like they're holding on to something and whatever it is that they're holding on to, it's, it's something that doesn't make them happy. It's something that doesn't create any sort of emotional fulfillment in them. However, they still keep holding on to it. So I do get a, a strong energy of this person essentially self-sabotaging self themselves in, in what could be a really beautiful new beginning here with you. There is, we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. It's in reverse. So of course this can represent marriage or um, some other relationship that this person has. It could be relationship, um, I'm sorry, it could be family, children, work, career. Um, also finances. So I do feel like this person again is overburdened. Um, with external factors that are influencing this person. They feel like they don't have the freedom in some way. Mm -hmm. They feel restricted. Of course with the strength card I can tell that it's... It's psychological, you know, it's it's not um it's not real. They feel like it they don't have control is what they right now they feel like they don't have control over over themselves, over their life. But in reality those are just psychological fears that are holding them back, okay? All right, Virgo, I'm going to continue this reading in the extended reading. Um, we're going to take a look at how does this person feel about you um, for the week and what actions they plan on taking towards you. And I'm also going to pick some cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck to see what messages this person would like to say to you. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.